can dermal fillers cause cancer? So this question has popped up because um, some dermal filler manufacturers include compounds which basically stick the dermal filler together, which in certain animal experiments have revealed a tendency to cause cancer. So the example would be BDDE. So this compound um, is actually used to keep hyaluronic acid chains stuck together and makes them last much longer. Um, but the, the interesting thing is the dose response. So in the investigations that I've seen, the doses that cause cancer in animals are many thousands of times higher and they're often in animals that are already basically genetically tweaked to be prone to cancer so they're not at all comparable to the, the very tiny amounts that are used occasionally in humans uh, and this means it's probably no more carcinogenic than the many other things that we expose our, ourselves to in nature and um, i think if you look at even the ingredients of coffee many of those have been shown to be carcinogenic in extreme versions of animal studies but none of us have actually proven that coffee itself causes cancer and it's that kind of comparison that's quite difficult to explain but if your clients ask you the tests that have shown that certain chemicals cause cancer are usually done in such huge quantities that it's very hard to tell whether that really is um, a realistic threat. So all these products are FDA approved and there is no data that dermal filler is, relates to cancer. There might be some, some research on certain components of them that mean that they might be slightly carcinogenic, but that is true of most foods that we eat, of most pesticides, of most, you know, many of the compounds that we think of as really normal have this tendency in laboratory tests to trigger cancer cells in genetically prepared uh, mice. So. It's very uncertain. I certainly am not worrying about it currently. I would have a treatment and not worry about it causing cancer. Um, but your clients might ask you that question. And of course, we need to stay in touch with the data and make sure that you stay in tune just in case any new research comes out uh, so that we can make adjustments to our practice to keep patients as safe as possible. But uh, the long and short of it is probably almost certainly not.